Hello, my name is David Webb, and this is a video for DweeboVision. I am a Scrabble Grandmaster, and in this video I am going to play Scrabble while providing in-game commentary on my moves. Hopefully this will help to improve your game, and be fun to watch. The game has just started, so let's join the action. My opponent's gone first with Bavin. I do not have a bingo, but I have the Z for score. Now, Mirza is good, and Zyram. So I could play Mirza at G7 across, or in column 5. Let's see what this looks like. I certainly want to play off one of my R's. It would be nice to play off my F rather than my M, because the M is more bingo-y. But I can't see a way of doing that. Zarf is good, and Frizz, but there's nowhere good to play either of those. Now, 32 for Mirza is quite good. I think that's slightly more than playing in row G. But would Zyram be better? I think it would because it doesn't enable access to the double word square at D4. Now I'm not sure about Roofage. Sounds plausible. But I don't feel confident about it. Groof is good. Now there is a hotspot at F6, so I could play of in column 6, or oof. That would leave rage. My F could also be placed at I7, so I could play fog or forego. Fog, probably slightly better. I'm just wondering if Roofage was good, if there was anywhere to play it. I'm not sure that there is. I'm looking at the floaters to see if I have an eight-letter word, but I don't think I do. So the two best plays at the moment I can see are in column 6, either Oof or Groof. Groof would leave AE on my rack and Oof would leave Rage. But Groof would score 7 more points. I'll have to think about that should the opportunity remain available. And similarly in row I, I've got the choice between fog and forego, and it's not clear to me which of those is better. I'm looking to see if I've got anything in column 4, beginning with the B of Bavin, and reaching down to the double word square. Well, I have a uh, borage which would leave OF. Only 22 points. The V of Bavin is quite blocky, so that limits my opportunities in rows G and I. I'm close to Zoograft. I would have that if my E were a T. My opponent is taking a while over his move, so he may be close to a bingo or have a blank. Great, the oof spot is not taken. Now, I do actually have a spot for roofage because hum takes an F, and it could also play in 
row F making run and om. But I, I'm not sure enough of it to try it. Now, 38 for roof. Or do I get 45 for groof? Tricky. Well, I like the R, and this is certainly more balanced. So I'll go with the better leave. And that's not great at all. Duplicate tiles and no high scoring tiles, so it's going to be a struggle to score well. Hum does take an A after it. I need to be sure that I don't have a bingo. I'm sure that Gearia isn't good, so I don't think I have a 7, but through an F I would have Ferriage. I've got the V and the B of Bavin to consider. Can't see anything through the B or the V. So, do I have anything through the sea of cowed. No, I don't think I do. I'm close to a bingo, but I I'm just one one tile wrong from carriage or a gassery. Well, I could play Grice at A1. 24 points, leaving A, E, R. That's not too bad. What else is available? That's probably the best spot. And I'm denying my opponent its use. Ordinarily, I don't like vowel heavy leaves, but A E R is pretty pretty good. I draw the Q and I'm duplicating the A's, the A and the N. There are no U's available on the board or spare eyes for Chi, so I would need a T to play Trank. Otherwise, I'm stuck with the Q. For at least one more go. And it may be worth changing. At the moment I'm one point ahead, but my opponent's on turn, so he's going to take the lead. And he does not provide a spot for my cue. So, what do I do? I am 22 points behind, which isn't very many. If I... I can't play the queue, and therefore I need to look to see what's the most I can score without it. And I'm really struggling to see anything particularly great on this board. I guess I could play Banner in row... in column 4. 20 points. Actually, that, that is going to be better than changing. Keeping QA means that if I draw an I or a T, I will have a short Q word. Cat or Chi. And if I draw an I, I've got Chin at uh, J2 across. Great, I draw a U. It's only great in the sense that it will assist me to uh, get rid of the queue. I don't have a bingo. But I have Aqua and Aqui. And I can play Aqua in row F, also making Am. 
Uh, I can also play it in column A10, but I'm not placing my Q on a triple letter square. I would have keyage through a Y. I've got unique in column eight, but that doesn't score very much. I've also got acqui in row J, which is good. So acqui at J nine. 36 points. Has my opponent provided any opportunities for scoring more than that? Well, I don't think so. And this nicely sorts out the rack GE is fine as a leave, given what I'm starting with. And 36 points is good. And I'm still a long way away from a bingo. I'm 42 points behind my opponent's on turn. But I do have the X for score, so I'm looking around to see if there are any good spots for my X. I've also got the like prefix. X like is good, so I could play that in column 12. That would Again, leave me with a rack leave of GE. Great, that opportunity remains available. Let me just consider how much that scores. 36 points, that's a good score. Can I score more than that? I'm wondering if I can place my X on the double letter square at I-13 and then get that doubled. Can't see a way of doing that. And it's good to play off the K as well, because that's not a particularly bingo-y tile, and this opens the board up a lot. In particular, it row opens up row Oh. And still not a great uh, pickup, but I should be able to score reasonably well. I don't have anything in row O. But on my rack, I've got Yogi. That could play in column three, parallel to Banner. I certainly want to split up the duplicate eyes. It would be nice to play off the F, the I, the Y. That's going to be tricky. I do have the I, F, Y ending. Ooh. Okay. Good play by my opponent. 113 points. I will just confirm that that's good, given the size of the score. And... He plays off the first blank. He's now got a hundred and forty point lead. So what am I going to do about that? Now I was considering the IFY ending. And I'm looking at the floaters in banner to see if I can have a play going through the N or the R which uses that and I can't see one. Okay, well, this is not a good position to be in. I can't see any great spots. I've got 12 minutes left on my clock. Yeah, I still haven't seen a single candidate move that appeals.
Well, I suppose Yogi in column three has has merit. It opens up column two for a bingo, and it's certainly the best rack leave I'm going to be able to achieve on this move and 25 points is not bad what's bad is that it provides a very easy opportunity for my opponent to score in row O but if he does so then all of the bingo lanes on the board will remain open and I still do not have a bingo but I have a very balanced rack and I've got the J for score Fijoa is good and so would jet foil be onto an L. So I'm looking around to see uh, where I can place my J. Well, I could play Phi Joa in row E through the eye of Urticus or in row M through the eye of axe like and I've got jet foil in row L but it doesn't get doubled so that's not good geo fail is also good now a great score would be from placing my J at J2 and playing down a word which ends or at N2 but I don't have such a play available. So at the moment, Phi Joa probably in row E looks best. So am I missing anything? Well, I could play Joe at I3 down. 38 points, leaving A, E, F, I, T. That's worth thinking about. Looking at the vowels that are left, there's only... Well, there's only one O and one I and two A's. So although Joe leaves a vowel-heavy leave... I think there's a shortage of vowels in the bag. Now the problem about playing J-O is that it keeps the F, which is a non bingo -y tile, whereas Phi Joa in row E would play off the F. Mind you, it would also take out a couple of bingo lanes or three bingo lanes. Thank goodness I didn't play that in a hurry. I've missed the best possible spot for Phi Joa. I was assuming my opponent would take this. I would have been enormously annoyed if I'd missed this. Phi Joa, 72 points. That is much better. And I'm rewarded with a non bingo Iraq. I'm still 70 points behind with my opponent on turn. And I have the duplicate eye, so I drew the final eye in the bag. There are now only five vowels out of 21 tiles. So I shouldn't be too gung-ho about uh, ditching my vowels. On the other hand, I certainly need to maximise my chances of getting a bingo. I note that uh, column 1 is available for a bingo beginning with an A at C1. Now, okay, there goes the second blank and a bingo for my opponent which almost certainly secures the win for him given that I can't bingo this goes so my attention now turns to minimizing my losing spread there are seven tiles in the bag and therefore my high scoring tiles the y and the w are quite valuable and 
I'm looking at N6 where I could place my Y. So I could play WYE across here. Duplicate I is not such a problem because there are no I's left and there's a shortage of vowels. That's 35 points. Am I missing a better spot? No, can't see anywhere great for my W or my Y apart from where I've just played. I could play white in the same spot. But then I'd be leaving myself with no, no vowels. Well, just when I wasn't expecting it, this is actually quite a bingo-y rack and I do have the floaters in urticas. So do I have a bingo? Iris sated is good and that doesn't quite fit in row C but does Iris sated have an anagram? Gosh, I think it may do. Iris sated and... Okay, in the meantime, I've got the T to consider. Any uh, bingo at this point is going to simply reduce my losing margin. I'm trying to think of an anagram of irisated. I feel that this may be there may be just the sol just one anagram of irisated. And I don't know why it's not coming into my head if it does exist, so maybe it doesn't. I don't have a bingo through the C, there's not um I don't have a front hook for uni. Column thirteen onto the E of Aqui. I don't have a bingo there. Okay, so I think it's the R or nothing. And I haven't seen an anagram of iris sated, so I need to look elsewhere. There's one tile in the bag, so maybe I should just play off my I while there are still bingo lanes open and see if I can uh, draw a bingo, I draw a tile which makes a bingo. So where can I play my eye? I can certainly play it here. Yeah, that looks the best spot for it. And I have strained in row C and I have Andy sight in column 13. My opponent may be able to block both. I've got sinuated in row B. Just wondering if I have anything through the eye of urticas. If my opponent's able to block all of those, he may well be offering up additional floaters. So this may not be easy for him. Okay, that looks... Well, he certainly blocked the Urtica's floaters, but he's left Sinuated and Andesite. Andesite is going to score more. And decide seventy two. Just waiting for my opponent to formally end the game.
which I'm hoping he'll do imminently, and he has. And the final score, 404 to me, 481 to my opponent, so a winning margin of 77 to him. So well done to my opponent. Let's see what I missed. It was my opponent to go first. And this is where I played Mirza, or I played Zyram after considering Mirza, and yeah, that looks best. Goof at C6. This is where I played Oof and was considering Groof as well. Well, Goof was another possibility. Two more points, but it does leave a vowel heavy rack leave. There probably isn't a great deal between those top three choices. Earwig, I didn't think of that. Playable at C1, but opening up column 1. Kagia, I think, is better than Grice because it scores more and a rack leave of ER is better than a rack leave of AER. This is where I considered changing, but played Banner. And I could also have played a Warn in row C. I think I prefer Banner because I like to retain the A uh, for the play of Cat. This is where I played Aqui at uh, J9, and that looks best. Now, this is where I think I may have made an error, although I played Axe Like, and that's showing up at the top, and the rack leave is fine. It's an incredibly open open move, putting an E in the right in the middle of two triple word squares. So possibly that was unnecessarily aggressive. I was 60 points behind, so it was in my interest to have an open board, but there are open boards and open boards. This board was going to be open regardless of what I played. I didn't need to open it further. But looking down those those uh, rack leaves and scores there are no standout moves which are clearly better than Axe Like I just have a feeling that Axe Like uh, probably um, wasn't the best and possibly wasn't the best by a large margin this is where I played uh, Yogi in column 3 and well Kiev scores eight more points, but the rack leave of Yogi is a lot worse than the rack leave of FIE. Yogi is almost wholly unbingoy. This is where my blushes were spared by spotting the 72 point play of Fijoa after a long time of um, overlooking it. Now this was right at the end and well I played Y and White and Yaiti are pretty similar now did I have a bingo here great I didn't this is where I played off just the I and I think this was best looking at the tiles are in the bag there's only one E so my opponent's going to have difficulty blocking all the bingo lanes and by playing off just an eye I'm leaving myself with a, a, a fabulous six tile rack leave so I'm pretty confident that Chi was the best uh, move here and finally Andesite insinuated were the only two bingos and Andesite uh, scored more so it was better so that was the uh, end of that game i hope you enjoyed watching it it was uh, a bit of a struggle i was a long way away from a bingo on most of my racks uh, there are a couple of uh, moves which i think were were probably uh, not the best they could be in particular acts like and to a much lesser extent i think uh, kagia and um, was better than grice um, it was good to get a bingo at the end in the sense that it reduced the uh, the losing uh, spread but uh, overall I was pretty roundly defeated in that uh, game so well done again to my opponent um, losing is part of Scrabble but you can get something out of all of the games that you play so learn to love the games that you lose as well as the ones that you win 
and I hope you enjoyed watching that video. My name is David Webb and this has been a video for Dweebo Vision.